Welcome. My name is Devin. I am a teacher here at Sangha Studio. Today we're going to be moving through a 30-minute strong and slow practice together. And we're going to begin today reclined on our backs. So take your time getting there. So as you arrive on your back, we'll start in what is called constructive rest, where we bring the feet a little bit wider, maybe a little wider than the outer hips, or if you are on a yoga mat, you can bring your feet about mat's distance, dropping the knees in towards one another. You can bring your upper arms to rest on the earth, hands can rest on your belly here, if that feels okay. You can also bring your arms along your sides with your palms facing down for a little bit more grounding here. And we'll take a moment here just to center and arrive to our practice, maybe letting the eyelids get heavy here or simply softening your gaze over the tip of your nose. Just begin to center and arrive here to your practice. And centering and arriving within your physical and energetic body. And just notice what it feels like to be in your body today. And we'll begin our practice together with just a few breaths together. So with your next breath in, we'll take a deep, expansive breath, beginning with the breath in the low belly. So take a big breath in as you feel the belly press against the hands, fill up completely. Maybe pause at the top of your breath. And then a long, expansive breath out, feeling the lower back flatten along the earth as you empty out completely. Take a couple more rounds of this deeper breath here. And find a pacing that feels accessible for you. Maybe noticing if you can allow your exhales to be just a little bit longer than your inhales. Two more rounds. On the bottom of that second breath, you can begin to widen your knees just a little bit. And then just start to drop your knees side to side. Keep your feet wide. Just take a little windshield wiper movement here. And start to bring stillness to the feet here and then walk your feet in towards one another. Keep your knees bent. And bring your feet about hips distance apart. You can bring your arms along your sides here if they're on your belly with the palms down. Heels walk in slightly and we'll take a couple of rounds of bridge pose here. So first we'll start to set up our pose. Start to lengthen your tailbone down towards your heels. So you'll feel your low back start to press down into the earth. Keep this action as you press through your feet. Inhale to lift your hips up. Ground through all four corners of the feet here. Shins drawing forwards. Lifting the hip bones upward. Breathe into your belly, breathe into your chest. And try not to clench your glutes here. We'll stay for another big breath in. Long breath out. Hips start to lower as we exhale. With your next inhale, we'll press through the feet to lift the hips back up. Maybe reach your arms up overhead. Breath out, 
to soften the hips down, arms come back along your sides. We'll do that a few more times, breathing in to lift your hips, arms lift up overhead, keep that tailbone reaching towards your calves or towards your heels. Flow with your breath, take your time. Trying to lengthen out the breath to match your movement, but trying not to overthink it too much. We'll take one more round. And next time your hips are down, arms are down, you can go ahead and walk your heels in a little more and then bring your knees in towards your chest. You can wrap your hands around your shins here, rock along your low back side to side, or draw circles with your knees. Shifting in the opposite direction, finding a little bit of balance here. And then we'll start to rock lengthwise along the spine here to make our way up into boat pose. So take your time here. You can bring your hands behind the thighs here or keep your hands on the shins. Just take some steady rocks. Massaging out the muscles along your spine. And seeing if you can get a little bit of momentum here to eventually arrive in boat pose. Legs, uh, knees are bent, feet are flexed, fingertips reach towards your toes. Heart is pulling forward, collarbones are broad. We'll stay for a big breath in, long breath out. One more inhale here. And then start to cross your ankles as you exhale, come forward and plant your hands onto the earth. We'll make our way into tabletop pose from here. Coming into hands and knees. I'm starting to refine in the line here. Shoulders and elbows are stacked over your wrists and knees are below your hips. Spread your fingers nice and wide, maybe a little bit of a grip to the mat here with a micro bend in your elbows. We'll take a few rounds of cat and cow here. With your next breath in, start to lift your tailbone up. Belly drops down as the sternum pulls forward, gaze lifts. With a breath out, scoop the tail down as you round your spine, chin hugs in towards your heart. Inhale to lift the tail, lift the gaze, pull the heart forward. And exhale to round. One more round of cat and cow here. Moving with your breath. We'll meet back in a neutral tabletop. Go ahead and tuck your toes here. And then start to hug the front of your body in and pull your navel in and up. You'll feel the tailbone start to lengthen back slightly. Keep that action here as you press through your hands and the balls of your feet to lift your knees. And stay for a breath in, stay for a breath out. Another deep breath in, hugging front body in, back of your heart reaching high. Breath out. Last one, inhale. And with your exhale, knees down, hips to heels. You can keep your toes tucked here to bring a stretch into the soles of your feet here. Walking the hands forward, forehead melts towards the earth. You can also bring the tops of the feet down if this feels like a lot of sensation in the soles of your feet. And take a big expansive breath into the back of your body. Softening breath in the front of the heart. One more big breath in. Long breath out. Inhale to come forward into tabletop pose. Tuck your toes if they aren't tucked. Bring the action into the front of your body here as you press down through the hands and the balls of your feet. Breathe in to lift your knees to a hover. Breathe out to stay. One more big expansive breath, making space between the shoulder blades as you fill up. With your breath out, start to shift your hips back towards your heels and then lengthen your tailbone up and back, straighten the legs to find down dog. Take any movement you need here, maybe walking your feet back or your hands forwards a little bit to find your alignment for downward dog. Gentle bend in your knees, maybe a micro bend in your elbows here as well. We'll press down through all 10 fingers and the heel of your palms, creating a little cup in the palm of your hand, getting a little bit lighter in the wrists, and then bringing space between the collarbones and space between your shoulder blades. 
See if you can press belly towards thighs, keeping spine long without sagging the chest down towards the earth. Big breath in here. A nice long breath out. Use your next inhale to come forward into plank pose. Start to draw tailbone back, hug ribs in. Maybe walk your feet back if you need to realign. Heels over balls of the feet, shoulders over your wrists. We'll stay in plank pose for a full breath in. Long breath out. One more breath, fill up. With your breath out, knees down. We'll stay long, crown to tail as we hug elbows in, lower down. Untuck your toes and press the tops of your feet down to find baby cobra. Roll the heads of the shoulders back. Lift your gaze, lift your heart. Look towards the top of your mat. Stay for another full breath in. Long breath out to stay. Back of the neck stays long. One more inhale, maybe lift a little higher. And then exhale to release the forehead down. Soften your shoulders and tuck your toes. As you inhale, press through your hands, come up onto your knees. And tuck your toes and shift up and back to down dog. And we'll settle into down dog for a big breath in through your nose. Maybe a big sigh out of your mouth or flutter your lips. Good. Bend your knees a little bit more. Look towards your toes and then start to walk your hands back towards your feet. Heels ground down. Find your forward fold at the back of your space or the back of your mat. Generous bend in your knees here. Maybe you grab opposite elbows or let your arms hang heavy. Deep breath here. Maybe nod your head yes or shake your head no. Good, take another full breath. And then we'll start to roll up with the next breath in. Your choice, if you'd like to bring your hands to your upper thighs and press down, starting to anchor the tailbone down as you roll up. Finding mountain pose at the top of your breath, rolling the shoulders back with the arms along your sides, palms forward. Breath out here. Another big deep breath in. Long breath out. Bend your knees to sweep your arms high and fold on your exhale, hinging from your hips. <sighs> Inhale to lift halfway, slide your hands to your shins, roll your shoulders back. Exhale to fold. And start to bend your knees a lot, sink your hips back, ground through the feet and start to hug the front of your body in to come into chair pose, but keep the front of the body parallel to the earth. Reach your fingertips forward, biceps or by your ears. Keep lengthening your tailbone down, so a little tuck here. Lower ribs start to draw down towards your front hip points. Breathe, in this, breathe into the space between your shoulder blades here. Another big breath. And start to lift the heart, lift the arms. Stay in your chair pose. Another big breath in. Breath out. And then press through the feet to straighten your legs, breathing in, arms rise, palms together. Hands to your heart with a long breath out. Use your entire exhale to collect your hands to the space of your heart. We'll pause for a breath here. Maybe a big sigh out of your mouth. One more breath. Good, release your hands, come back into mountain pose. Softly bend your knees as you inhale, arms reach high. And we'll fold over soft knees with the exhale. Inhale to lift halfway, long spine, flat back. Breath out, hands come down and walk your hands forwards all the way out until you come into plank pose, aligning shoulders over your wrists, maybe walking the feet back so your heels can come into alignment over the balls of your feet. Stay for a breath in to press the back of the heart high. And with your breath out, we'll come into forearm plank. So one forearm at a time, we'll come down. Elbows are aligned under your shoulders. Fingers spread wide here, or you can bring your hands together to clasp. And keep this action of drawing your tailbone towards your heels, hugging your ribs in. And then press down through your forearms to reach the back of your heart high. And connect with your breath here. 
Connect with sensations in the body. Acknowledge any sensations coming up. And then noticing how you respond to those sensations. And can you soften your jaw a little bit more? Can you lengthen your breath a little bit more? Stay for one, big, one more big breath in. And with your breath out, bring your knees down, let your hips sink down, and untuck your toes, find Sphinx pose. Elbows stay in alignment under your shoulders. If this feels like a lot for a back bend. You can walk your forearms forwards just a little bit, taking a little bit of the pressure out of the low back here. Inhale to spread through the chest, shoulders roll back. Back of your neck stays long as you gaze towards the top of your mat or towards the top of your space. And then you can press down to the tops of the feet here, engaging through the upper legs. Bring your breath into the space of your heart here. Shoulder blades drawing towards your spine. One more big breath. Good, go ahead and let the shoulders soften a little bit. Let your head get heavy, chin towards the heart. And then begin to tuck your toes. We're gonna make our way back up into forearm plank from here. So walk your elbows back underneath your shoulders. Okay, we'll start to peel up from the belly. So first, make sure your all 10 toes are spread wide. Make sure you're gripping the mat with your forearms here. And then start to engage through the thighs, start to pull your navel in. So peeling up from the belly, peel up the front hip points, and then start to feel the thighs lift, and then lift your knees. Lengthen your tailbone back, stay for a breath in. And with your breath out, we'll come back up into plank pose. Right arm, right hand, then left, or left hand, then right, doesn't matter. Stay for an inhale. And then with your exhale, we'll flow back to down dog. Your choice, if you'd like to bring your knees down, elbows hug in to lower, or move through chaturanga. Finding either baby cobra, maybe cobra or up dog. Breathing in, down dog, breathing out. Take your time, take whatever you need for your practice today. We'll settle into downward facing dog. The deep breath in through the nose. Big sigh out of your mouth. One more time, big breath in. Long breath out. With your next inhale, sweep your right leg high. Try to keep your hips square here and exhale to stay. Look forwards with your next inhale, lift your right heel a little more. And then with your exhale, bring your right foot towards your right thumb. Plant your right foot down. Good. Bring your back knee down to the earth. And then you can bring your hands to your right thigh here to lift up. And then when you're ready, arms can sweep high into Anjane Asana low lunge. Pinkies are rotating forwards. See if you can hug your front ribs in if they're flaring forwards. And then lengthen your tailbone down slightly to make space in your low back. And so your choice if you're here, if you'd like to take this as a little bit more of an opener through the left front hip here, or if you'd like to stack your hips over the back knee for a little bit more stability, you can walk your right foot back a little bit. We'll stay for another full breath in. Breath out. One more inhale here. And with your exhale, frame your front foot. We'll start to come into half split from here. So I like to keep my back toes tucked here in my low lunge and in my half split. You can also keep the top of your foot grounded here. We'll start to straighten through the right leg, reaching hips back, peeling right toes up. So you can keep a little bend in that right knee if you need to. I'm gonna bring that sensation in the back of your right thigh. Maybe walk your hands back, or if you have blocks or props, you can bring them to either side of your right leg here. And we'll tuck the right hip crease back and down. And then see if you can lift your heart, spread through your chest, and breathe into the heart, breathe into the belly. Stay for another breath. And with your next inhale, we'll bend through the front knee. Heart pulls forward. We'll tuck the back toes, lift back knee. Left hand grounds to the inside of your right foot. We'll come into a twist from here. Right fingertips peel up towards the sky as we open up towards the right leg. Energize through the inner and outer thighs here, hugging everything in together. Maybe let your hips sink down a little more. Maybe your gaze spins up towards your right fingertips. 
Stay for another breath in. And then frame your right front foot with your breath out. We'll come back into down dog from here. If you'd like to flow with your next inhale, glide forward into plank pose. Scoop tail back, ribs hugging. We'll lower with a breath out, elbows hug in to lower either halfway or all the way down. Finding cobra or up dog with your inhale, spreading through the heart, breathing in. Shifting to down dog, breathing out. We'll meet in downward facing dog for a deep breath in through your nose. Big sigh out of your mouth. Good. Inhale to sweep your left leg high. Exhale to stay, hips stay square. And then look forwards between your hands as you inhale, lift your left heel a little more. And then with your exhale, left foot comes towards your left thumb. We'll plant the left foot down. Back knee lowers down. If you'd like here, you can bring your hands to your left thigh to rise up, pulling belly in as you lift the heart. Fingertips sweep high on Janayasana. Hug your ribs in here, soften your shoulders, soften your jaw. Good, stay for another breath. One more inhale. And then frame your front foot with your exhale, we'll find that half split. So hips start to shift back, we'll straighten through the left leg. Maybe left toes peel up towards the sky or towards the, towards the heart. Left hip crease draws back and down. And your choice if you'd like to bring props for either side of your left leg here. Again, a micro bend or a deeper bend and your left knee is totally fine here. And just pause where you feel sensation in the back of your left leg that you could stay with for a couple of breaths. Take one more breath here and imagine you're sending breath towards sensation in the back of the leg or anywhere else you're feeling sensation in your body. And then we'll inhale to plant the left foot down. Go ahead and tuck your back toes if they're not tucked and lift your knee. Right hand comes to the inside of your left foot here. You can also bring a prop underneath that right hand. We'll peel the left fingertips up towards the sky to spin open towards the left. So coming into a twist here. Energizing the inner thighs towards one another, engaging here through the legs. Maybe bringing your gaze up towards your left fingertips, if that feels accessible here. And then staying with your breath, noticing if there's any holding here. Find a little more ease in the body. And take one more big breath in. And breath out to frame your front foot. We'll make our way back to down dog. With your next breath in, if you'd like, we'll take one last flow, coming forward into plank pose. Elbows hug in to lower your way. And finding your back bend on the inhale. And then down dog on your exhale. Knowing you can always skip vinyasas. can skip anything, really. It's all yoga. It's all optional. <laughs> and come back to down dog. We'll stay for three breaths. Long breaths in through your nose. Big sighs out of your mouth. Maybe allowing your exhales to be just a bit longer than your inhales here. You can flutter out your lips if you'd like. Let your cheekbones get heavy. Take one more breath here. Good. With your next inhale, we'll glide forwards into plank pose. One last plank pose. Breath in here. Breath out to stay. You've got this last inhale. And exhale, knees down, hips to heels, child's pose. Let your forehead come to the earth and choose a child's pose variation that feels good for you in your practice here, maybe legs together, or maybe bringing your big toes together with your knees wide. And take a little movement side to side. Maybe bringing your arms along your sides, reaching for your heels, or reaching for your toes. Collect your breath here. And check in with yourself. Noticing any subtle changes that might have occurred for you in your practice today. 
Acknowledging all of your efforts today is just enough. We'll take two more expansive breaths here, breathing into the back body, back of the ribs, back of your waistline, filling up. Noticing that softness of the front body with your breath out. Big expansive breath in. Long breath out. And then if you have your arms reaching back, we'll reach the fingertips forwards. With the next inhale, come forward into tabletop pose. And then we'll come to sit on our heels in hero's pose or finding a comfortable seat, um, an easy pose with the legs crossed. So at this point in your practice, if there are any other postures you'd like to take to complete, um, to complete your practice today, you can certainly take some time to do that here. Otherwise, I'll have us end with just a short meditation together in a seat. So you can go ahead and bring your hands down to your lap with the palms down for a little bit more grounding, palms up for a little bit more light and energy. And we'll start to anchor the tailbone down, align shoulders, over your hips and see if you can draw your ears in alignment over your shoulders just gently drawing the front of your throat back maybe closing your eyes and begin to draw all of your awareness towards just your breath and just watching the breath here without any particular pacing Noticing how it feels, again, to be in your body in this moment. Noticing the temperature of your skin. Noticing sensations of the body, contact points with the earth. Noticing any sounds in your space. Stay for one more quiet moment here. And if your eyes are closed, you can begin to open them. We'll meet with our hands together in Anjali Mudra at the heart, or you can layer one hand over the other at your heart space. And tucking the chin down, just connecting with the wisdom of the teacher that lives within you. Acknowledging your efforts today as just enough, acknowledging the wholeness that is you. It's an honor to practice with you with deepest, deepest gratitude. Thank you so much. Be well. <laughs>